to my channel. Today is a really, really exciting video. I am going to be doing the baby names I love and could be using. I have so many names since the first time I got pregnant. I like was going through all these names and like, I love this one. I love that one. I just, I can't choose and I probably won't choose until the baby's born. Um, Tyler and I have kind of agreed on that kind of thing. Um, but also because like we just have too many names. Like obviously Tyler doesn't love all these, but like I haven't even told him all these yet um, because there's so many. But anyways, I have 40 girls names and 30-ish boy names, which is crazy. Crazy. I can't believe how many names I have and love. Um, a lot of them are because of the meaning behind them and that's kind of why I love them so much but I'll also be saying the meaning of each name because of that. Um, some people aren't huge in names um, with their meaning but it's really important that you do because like if you get a name that's like so what you're like not into or something like that like it might be a good idea to look them up and to kind of understand the name and its origin and everything because i mean everyone likes to find out why they're named the way that they're named i feel at least i was like that when i was a kid so i'm named my name's andrea right and so i'm named after my grandmother apparently my mom and dad couldn't figure out a name and so my mom's like oh why don't we just do the grandmother's name and so I actually really love my name I think Andrea suits me I used to go by Andy or AJ as a kid um, because my real name is Jade so it was either AJ or Andy I love them both um, and they really suit me but anyways so I'm gonna do a two-parter of the girls video um, of the girls names and then I'll do one video for the boys so stay tuned I think what I'll do is I'll do first the girls and then I'll post the boys and then I'll post the last of the girls and who knows I probably will come up with even more names by the end of my pregnancy so you'll probably see another video again um but anyways let's hop right into the video the first name on the list is Ainsley I love this name it's so pretty um I would spell it with a z and not an s I think it's more unique and it's more you know cute and like not a lot of people have Z's in their names, so it's super cool. Um, and this is a Scottish and English origin. So basically, um, Ainsel in, it means one or only. So if you're gonna have like a one and only child, then Ainsley would be a beautiful name for that. It also means meadow. So beautiful names regardless. Or beautiful name regardless of the meaning. Um, and the second one I have um, is Aubrey. I love Aubrey. I have a cousin named Audrey, and I'm like, oh, I like that name too, but obviously I would never use it. So, Aubrey is a really, really beautiful name. Um, I love it so much, and it's a French and German origin, so it means elf or supernatural or um, ruler of elves, which in our household we're huge, like Lord of the Rings fans, and just mystical creatures and stuff like that so it'd be a beautiful name that I can't even believe that means that so it's super dope um and next on the list is Avril and or Avril and the reason why I really like this is because it's French for April I really enjoy this name I think it's super cute like if your baby's born in April it'd be kind of cool to be like Avril like that's super cool kind of a cool tie and or um it also means battle so like battle boar or um and yeah so that's super pretty super cute it's different it's not totally out there i mean there's the rock star singer um avril Lavigne, so kind of got a tie there but that's why it's so unique is that it's like no one's called that there's only like a handful of people um the next name that I really love is Arwen. Uh, super, super nice name. Uh, this is also from Lord of the Rings. It's one of the elves. She is a big role in the series and then The Hobbit. Really, really good name. I really like it. It's super strong, it's short, but it's beautiful at the same time. Um, and the next A name is Alteza or Alteza. 
and this is a portuguese origin i think it's such a beautiful name uh it means grace or highness you can hear peach sneezing in the background peach it's just such a beautiful name like who doesn't want to be called like your grace you know so it's kind of a cool name uh the next name is adira this is such a sweet name it's short it's sweet um and it's a hebrew origin and it means strong or noble, which is super pretty. I love that. I love that it means that. Um, the next one on my list is Arilla. Arilla, Arilla. Um, it's Latin and it's for um, the meaning golden. So if you're having like a sunshine baby, someone in the summer, it's super cute, it would match really well. I love how it's said, Arilla. Such a beautiful name to me. Um, another A name. A lot of these are A's, I've realized, which is crazy. Um, the next one I really like and Tyler likes to do is Adelie. So A-D-A-L-E-E. -E. And the reason why we really like it is because um, Tyler's grandmother was named Lee and his middle name is Lee. So it would be cute, kind of tied to our family. Um, it's also a Hebrew origin, and I don't love this meaning, but it means God is my refuge, which if you're religious, then go for it. But for us, it's not really the greatest meaning. It doesn't hold meaning to us. Um, the next name is Antonella. I love this Victorian name. It's so beautiful. It's just one of those names that like you hear and it's like Antonella. Like, come here, Antonella. Like, I just picture me saying it a lot. Um, and you can call her Nella. That would be cute. Um, it's Italian origin, and it means firstborn. So if I was to have a firstborn, or you would have a firstborn, and it was a girl, Antonella would be a beautiful name, just for its meaning, too. The next name, oh my gosh, is one of my favorites, and it's Josette. I love the name Josette. I love the name so much. And then it's also kind of a tie to Vampire Diaries because, um, well, not Vampire Diaries, the new one, Legacies, which if you don't know what that is, it's a spinoff from Vampire Diaries, which is my like literal favorite show of all time. And as basic as that sounds, it really is. And that says a lot because I love like Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is my second, is my second favorite. It's my out of all movies, Lord of the Rings is the best series of all time, like trilogy. And based on TV series, The Avatars is the best to me, in my personal opinion. I just love the characters, I love everything about it. It's perfectly done. Watch it over and over again. Um, but yeah, Josette, it's just a beautiful name. It's Hebrew, and it's another version of saying Josephine. I know somebody named Josephine and I went to school with them and not exactly what I would want to name my daughter just based on proximity but I really do love the name and it's so pretty I love how it's spelled I love the two t's it's like right up my alley the next is Briar or Aurora so Briar Rose is Sleeping Beauty's first name in the Disney movie, Sleeping Beauty. And it's such a beautiful name. It means Thorny Rose. I love it. It's so pretty. It's feminine, but I feel more masculine as well. Like it's a very strong short name that I really love. And Aurora, of course, Aurora is her real name in Sleeping Beauty, like her second name in Sleeping Beauty. And it also can be going as um, the Aurora Borealis, which is the Northern Lights. So, super pretty, has two meanings, love it. Um, the next name, which also has two T's, is Scarlet. I love this name. Of course, Scarlet Johansson has, you know, upped the name and everyone just loves it because of her. But I truly love this name. It means dark red, of course but it's just a beautiful classic name that you can't go wrong with. The next name on the list is Maisie. I love this name, it's a Scottish name. Everyone knows Game of Thrones, one of um, Arya Stark, her 
her um, character. Um, everyone loves loves it if you watch Game of Thrones. Loves her if you watch Game of Thrones. But her real name is Maisie, and it's such a beautiful name. Um, I mean, it's a Scottish version of Margaret, but then it's also Greek meaning pearl. And my middle name is Jade, which is a gem, which is a gem. And my my name Andrea means pearl. So it's like that'd be really cool to have like a daughter named after a pearl as well. Next on my list is river. I love when it comes to like the outdoors kind of name. It's such a beautiful name. It's a Latin name for riverbank. But river is such a pretty name. It's very tomboy. It's very out there. It's different. It's unique. Just beautiful name. I love it so much. The next name on my list is Persephone. I adore this name. It is so beautiful. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know that it's the goddess. Um, her name was Persephone and she was the queen of the underworld. So she was the one of all destroying. Um, that's what it means is to destroy. And I just love how long it is. I love how it's spelt. I just love how it's said. Persephone. Like it just sounds like one of those whimsical names that you would just can never get tired of and that's what I really love about it. The next is my also really all-time name and it's Iris or Arisi and um, so you can spell it both ways um, and that means rainbow and so for me because this is my rainbow baby this would be such a beautiful name for if it's a girl and I just it's just so beautiful just Arisi or Iris would just be so beautiful. I just love it so much. It would hold a lot of meaning to me. The next thing on my list is Mariposa. I love Mariposa as well. Such a unique name. It's beautiful. I took Spanish as a kid. Um, it's actually my second language. I did go to Spain and get my um, second language certificate, which is super cool. Um, but yeah, so Mariposa, which means butterfly, just a cool name as well, like if it's your firstborn or whatnot. It's like you're transforming into the motherhood, so it's like you're, you're, you know, heading off into a new chapter of your life and Mariposa would be such a beautiful girl's name. The next on my list is Theodosia love 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 this name i love it because it can be shortened for doza for dozy or theo it's just a beautiful name i think the longness of it is just gorgeous it's so pretty and it is of greek origin and it means gift of god so it means gift of god which is pretty and if you're religious it would work really well for you um, the next name on my list is Marjorie, which is also a another name for Margaret. Really pretty name. It's more common, but it's super pretty. I love how it's spelled. I love how there's a J in it. Um, and it means pearl as well, so that'd be a great one to tie with me as well. Um, next on the list is Fauna. And Fauna is just such a unique name, like very unique, so different, and it's of English origin, and it could mean uh, young deer, so like fawn, it's like Fauna, um, super pretty, super cute. I guess that was the last one on my list was Fauna. So this was all of part one of the girls' names that I love. I guess I kind of flew through. Um, I just love all the names so, so much. And on my next list, you'll see that I have tons of other gothic, more Victorian, unique names again. I just love, love unique names. And I just, I just think it creates a different identity for the child and just, you know, instead of being like named Tyler Jr., even though Tyler Funny enough, Tyler was my girl's name that I wanted for my entire childhood. Like, 
from 12 to like 16 when I met Tyler. Tyler was my girl's name. I wanted a girl named Tyler so, so bad. But now that I'm marrying a Tyler, it's a little different. I can't do that. I mean, I could, but just not the same. So, and I just have so many other girl names that I think that would work perfect as well. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this first part of the girls' names. I love every single one of them, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I guess my next video will either be a vlog, a haul, or it will be the boys' version. So it will be boy names. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.